Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super discussion, speculation, slash theory video. And I am once again joined by Mr. Ninja Star Man. Why don't you say hello to everyone listening? And obviously, before we start it, I just want to ask you guys, like, uh, you, and personally, I don't know if you've covered this on your channel, you're you're okay with the Harvey stuff, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm all okay with it. Um, it hasn't affected me, like, too, like, me too much or anything like that. A few of my friends, it did affect them. But aside from that, you know, it's, it's not too bad in my era. But if any of, um, if any viewers out there for watching this video, uh, you know, aren't are in the Houston area or in Galveston or anywhere in, like, that Gulf Coast, just stay safe, stay, because there could potentially be some other stuff coming in the future, like, actually sooner than we think. So just, just stay safe, everyone. Just recover. Everything's, you know, Let's just stay in this together. So, uh, <laughs> on a different note, hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Mr. Ninja Star. I'm happy to be on Mark Real to Real's channel once again. I think it's been a little bit of a while since I've uh, been on here, but uh, but yeah, you know, it's uh, I'm, I'm a little rusty with this, but you know what? We're gonna have a fun time discussing. I think you guys are gonna have some have a good time, like giving your thoughts in the comment section down below, because the topic here is actually really interesting. Because when Mark told me, I'm like, wait, what? Okay, that's cool. So yeah, <laughs> exactly, guys. So uh, with that being said, I will actually put some links. If I know I've gotten co a couple comments on this on one of my last videos where I wasn't necessarily in my right place, I finally made my way home. Uh, I I know this isn't necessarily the topic, but it is worth discussing. I'm going to put some links in the description section below about where you can go and donate if you're so inclined or you're you're just feeling like you really should or give back or something. Houston's been hit really hard. This has been a, a historic storm uh, and we don't necessarily know how much worse it's going to get like I like uh, Ninja said it's you know uh, Hurricane Irma is going to up itself to a category three by the time that this uh, at least hypothetically by the time this uh, video goes up so we don't necessarily know if it's going to hit the Caribbean and right. jump up to the Gulf and hit us again or hit Louisiana or hit Florida or something so let's all just kind of save stay safe but with that being said uh, guys, I want to take a couple of minutes and discuss to you guys this theory I was having I wanted to ask Ninja about. <laughs> Does Frieza have a secret weapon in the Tournament of Power? And with that being said, guys, uh, I just want to paint a picture for you. I think it was episode 95. I mean, yeah, holy crap, we were like 10, that was 10 weeks ago, holy crap, Ooh. anyway guys, like, uh, episode 95, we get to see Frieza take on all of those people, uh, you know, who came to assassinate him, and then he got a Kai energy thrown at him, and although he was acting like it was hurting him and everything, like, oh my god, Frieza's in total, complete control, and he continues, uh, even though the guy who threw it at him, you know, throws a fake, throws a fake, oh, it's in the water, throw it up to Frieza, start and trying to stop it, and then eventually gets covered in it, acts like he's being really kind of hurt, and then says that, oh, you know, I'm tr I'm in control of this. He tries to whittle it down, show his power, and then he basically almost loses it, and then he kind of puts it back up, holding it, takes out the guy, and um, Goku and everyone else is distracted by this they're kind of in their own well uh, right and then he throws it at goku goku of course can't necessarily take over the control or control the power just like frieza did but goku is in his base form he wasn't in his super saiyan blue form it's up for debate whether or not goku would have been able to do it one way or the other but i always thought it was weird that frieza was almost or at least they made a point to show frieza being overly powerful like he powered up to his most you know, powerful state. Uh, he had gotten complete control of his golden form, or at least he says he has, and then this energy was thrown at him, and that's how he was able to control it so easily. And I felt, with even when Goku wasn't necessarily expecting it, even when Goku wasn't even transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue, he was still able to take this Akai energy and at least not let it destroy him. And uh, I'm wondering... Is this Frieza's ultimate plan in the Tournament of Power? I made a video about this very recently, about Frieza's been fairly much absent during this entire tournament. They're not necessarily focused on him, but we do see him talking with Frost. We know he's planning something. He's definitely threatened uh, Vizeno even under his breath. And I'm wondering, when he took control of this Akai energy, man, do you think it's possible, even remotely, that he took some of this energy, or a lot of this energy even, into himself in order to store it for this particular tournament or for whatever he has planned. Go. I think it's actually very possible. Like, I know I'm, I'm kind of just agreeing with what you said, but just adding on to it, it definitely is, like, 
an idea that there's like it has evidence to support it and everything like there's really no argument against it because when we saw it, you know, Frieza still had that thing in his hand. Frieza still seemed to have, like, sure, he was, it seemed like he was struggling with it just a little bit, but at the same time, it's like, we, we've seen Frieza be a deceptive person. He could just be trying to distract Goku and, you know, Goku and everyone else to think, like, okay, yeah, well, what's it gonna do with this? When in doubt, you know, Frieza was actually absorbing all of this just so he could get maybe an extra bit of power in the tournament of, in the tournament of power, and judging you know with how Frieza's character was in the past this could very well be a possibility as uh, adding to what you said earlier we haven't really seen him all that much in this tournament now sure you know he's appeared a few times in the background had a few lines here yeah had a few like quirky lines here and there but like you said episode 95 and the actual tournament began like I don't know like the late 90s or something like that so when it comes down to it, you know, it's like 105. We're, we're still, we're a few episodes into the tournament of power, like the actual uh, tournament, and we haven't seen Frieza do all this much. You know, we, we saw Roshi do some stuff. We saw Android 17. We saw Gohan. We, we saw everyone, all the other Z fighters, and we haven't really seen Frieza do all that much. So I think they're saving like a huge plot point of his where he's going to actually use the Hakai energy that he absorbed and just kind of obliterate other fighters uh just a uh, uh, freaking abusing that power and that's going to be like when more episodes come and the plot's going to thicken and stuff so yeah i mean it's weird to think about this and i know a lot of people are going to go down to the comment section below and think about or at least try to tell us that, oh you know he can't use the guy energy it's going to destroy somebody and that's against the rules he's going to get uh, disqualified you know i'm not necessarily sure I mean, it, 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 I, I personally think that this is his backup plan. Frieza, to me, at least when you think about Frieza's character as a whole, is a petty person. He's a petty fighter, kind of childish. He doesn't like to be beaten very easily. He doesn't like anyone having the upper hand on him. But he's kind of like that guy who has a gun in a fist fight. You know, he's like, this is my backup plan. Like, I won't let anyone beat me because I'm going to use the Super Dragon Balls to wish myself back to life. And this is my power. And this, is, this isn't a weapon. This isn't anything else like that. So, is, and, and as we saw with Goku... Maybe that was him, although a lot of people like to point at that moment and say, like, you know, Frieza portrays Goku, or at least plays with him. That could be Frieza basically testing out the energy. You know, as you said, he might have done the whole, oh, I'm losing it, and then, oh, I'm bringing it back, because he was, <clears throat> you know, trying to absorb it and trying to be like a hat trick or a car trick musician, uh, magi magician thing where, you know, don't look at what I'm actually doing, which was I'm absorbing this power. And he could be seeing, like, okay, that amount of power that I threw at Goku wasn't enough to kill him, but it was enough to uh, uh, incapacitate him, which could allow Frieza to take the upper hand at any given fight. Uh, because, obviously, any mortal who would challenge him that Frieza would have to use this energy against would be enough would have enough energy to basically fight this off but it would be so distracting that maybe he could take him off the ring or something else like that of course he could even go as far as him having this power in himself if he were to if he were to have absorbed this stuff in himself he might think that uh, he could be so ignorant to the fact that he could use this against Zeno and potentially kill Zeno with it I mean he did and one of the things we have seen him do is actually uh you know threaten Zeno's power uh, you know like yo you won't always be on top like sometimes somebody will take you out and he's like wink wink it's going to be me and I have a plan for it <laughs> and everyone thinks that he's gonna have a plan for this so I really think that although that was something that was kind of thrown out there. This could potentially be something that is his secret weapon. Mm -hmm. It does, uh, with the way things are playing out to be, it definitely can be a possibility that, you know, this is a secret weapon. Because, yeah, Frieza is a confident character. You know, we, we've seen this several times to the point where, heck, he would even get cocky and that would be his ultimate demise. But the thing is, though, with this time... Frieza, you know, he's a type of guy, he, he makes a lot of mistakes here and there, but as we've seen before, and this happened recently, if he makes, like, a really huge mistake, he will think about it, think, like, okay, what did I do wrong, and thus he maybe tries to improve upon it, look what happened with his golden form, and the Resurrection F arc, Frieza's own golden form kind of 
it was taking up more stamina than he thought. He was being way too overconfident with it, and he didn't fully master it. So in the time between that arc and the, you know, the Tournament of Power, he started to master that form, do some mental training, and thus he has full mastery of it. And that's where we see, you know, Frieza is learning from his mistakes. So I think with here, it would show that, you know what, Frieza is going to learn, because the thing is, is, the confident gene, the confident like attitude, that's in his blood. You can't really change that. But I feel like with this time, it's a little too confident just for something to be regular. Like like where you're saying more confident than usual. And also adding to what you were saying, the whole like the whole like killing mortals thing, you know, like when, you know, the the thing is, is, you know, you can't really kill anyone in this tournament of powers as of this current moment in time. So with the Hakai, like what you were saying, it was not really killing Goku. When, when he was testing it out for the first time, like episode 95, 96, or more like that, he wasn't, he saw like, okay, yeah, this doesn't kill Goku, but this can he severely like put him at a disadvantage in the fight, and I can just wipe him easily with a simple attack. So Frieza's really like thinking about this. He's, he tested things out. He, he already has a plan for this, you know, like where he was saying, he's probably not going to use this immediately, like the first thing, like, if he gets in a 1v1 with somebody, he that's not going to be the first move he does. He's going to, like, severely tire out the opponent, maybe even tire out, him, tire out himself. But if the situation really calls for it, he's going to use the Hakai energy and kind of put the person at a huge disadvantage, get a cheap shot on him, boom, another person eliminated. So I feel like that's something that would fit very well with Frieza's character, something that is interesting, like, kind of foreshadowed as to something that happened, like, 10 episodes ago, and yeah. You know, I want to actually make one clear point before I ask you a question. Although we know that it's not going to be the same build-up point in the manga as it was in the anime, I do want to make it clear that in the manga, it actually showed Goku being able to use the Hakai against, uh, you know, Goku Black in the Zeno Transformation or uh, Fusion. So it is possible, or at least they're setting up similar storylines where mortals can use or use and or learn the hakai movement or the uh the attack itself in order to attack their enemies and that could be how frieza actually learns it in the manga to be the same plot point but not necessarily the same method of distribution or kind of giving of the power for frieza and this is how they're this is how they're adapting it in the anime and that's how they're adapting it into the manga just to kind of use the same kind of uh, logic without necessarily having to tell the whole story again and being able to skip all that preliminary things which a lot of people think that they're actually going to do in fact the last chapter really does seem to clarify that that's exactly what they're going to do is, is skip all of that uh you know build up where we're, we're finding the right uh fighters and all this other stuff so that's something to go on but here's the real question man like say this is just true you know say everything that we're talking about here is true this is frieza's secret weapon uh, you know, basically Universe 9, the first universe that uh, got eliminated, actually gave Frieza this secret hidden ability, his trump card, if you will. And say he uses it, is it a, disqual a disqualifiable offense if he uses a god technique? Because one of the things we saw in episode 105, and I think that this is actually really interesting, is uh, Roshi used the Mofuba, Mofuba uh, the evil containment wave. And the Zeno said, no, it's cool, it's allowed. Do you think whether or not he kills somebody, if it's cool, <laughs> if, if the Zenos think it's cool, do you think he'll, it'll be allowed or it won't be allowed? Or, I mean, will he get disqualified for this? Will the Zenos literally erase Frieza from existence? We'll never see him again for this. Honestly, I'm actually going to say no, because... With the way things were turned now, you know, the Zenos, they were kind of, well, the thing is these rules were kind of set, like, okay, you can't do this, but you can't do this and everything like that. The Zenos, let's be real, they're just doing this for their enjoyment. They've been enjoying this whole tournament from beginning to end, from beginning to right now. And honestly, it doesn't even seem like they care all that much about the rules. I mean, sure, you know, some things have to be set in stone, but for the most part, they don't mind little changes like this. As long as it's entertaining to them, it definitely does seem like they're like, okay yeah we, this rule can slide whatever this is fun to watch because the thing is with Roshi 
the thing the that movement right there the like major offense about that that i think at least from what i was watching that people were noting like okay that that doesn't really seem allowed you know i think it was universe 6 that was saying that it was the fact that he used an outside object to contain the other person using the mafuba because the mafuba you need another thing to contain that you know contain that other person and you know what he used was that little jar and that's like the major offense other than that you know there was really no rule against it the xenos were just like okay whatever you know it, it looked cool we'll let that slide and i feel like with this it'll be the same thing too because they'll be very impressed by the hakai they won't even like care about it they'll be too fascinated with it that they won't even bother like erasing frieza but if they do you know like i would rather if frieza maybe stays in the tournament a little longer but if they do if he does get erased you know frieza no, frieza does end up getting erased that would be interesting because frieza had this huge plan this whole time but then you know just gets wiped out due to like something that frieza would do and everything but then again you know like just introduce Frieza into this tournament, then get him erased immediately after just doing one cool thing. That doesn't seem right. So I feel like, I feel like, the Zenos aren't gonna really care. I, I I completely agree. I don't think they would really care as long as it's cool. Although, I mean, who really knows what they'd consider really cheating and not cheating? Because although, and it, I will say, like it was Universe Four, the Mouse God and Zen, uh, Beerus who got into a t oh, yeah, uh, an yeah. argument about whether or not the pot or something oh yeah it's it is it is and it is it's like no it is and then both of them were just like it was cool i think that like that is a real indication of just how they think about the rules like what they think about the rules is like i don't care like that was awesome like i'm really glad that they decided to actually fight that way because man like there's so many cool things out here and it was even what roshi was saying is like i'm here to take out the people who would otherwise like you know, challenge the people who are actually going to win this for my team because they fight so headstrong that they can't necessarily see beyond the leaves at that situ in this situation. They can't figure out how to fight these people, but I can, <laughs> like, because uh, you know he's he's so like I've been observing you and I've been observing you and I've been observing you. I think Freeze is the same way. Like I think Freeze is right now. Right now is playing it really cool, observing everyone, and when he gets back into a corner, if he does have this Akai energy in him, which I think is plausible, he might actually throw it at Jiren or somebody else like that as a way not necessarily to destroy them, but to at least give him some time to actually uh, counteract or actually fight them in a different way, which we saw was so very effective with Goku when he wasn't basically paying attention during their first fight in Dragon Ball Super. So. Guys, with that being said, though, I want everyone to go down to the description section below and hit that link over to Mr. Ninja Star's channel. Guys, if you haven't necessarily checked out this guy yet, then please make sure to do so. He's got to make some really awesome, awesome content. And guys, don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions about this particular topic. Do you think it was plausible, even possible for Frieza to have taken some of the Hakai energy into himself and is using it as somewhat of a trump card for this particular tournament. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell button over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. And with that being said, guys, I hope everyone has a good day. Everyone who's been affected by Harvey, my, you're in my thoughts and prayers, and I hope you actually... Uh, I hope everything will be okay, and right. anyone who ha who wasn't or does want to donate, I will leave some links in the description section below for uh, if you want to donate money or something, and if you can, please make sure to go do that. But with that being said, guys, I hope everyone has a good day. It's Peace. Been real.